In August 2023, Manchester United spent £73 million on a 20-year-old centre-forward. He's now played for four clubs in the last 20 months and, a year ago, he was sitting on the bench in the Danish Superliga. But who is Rasmus Hoyland? How good is he? And how did his unlikely rise to the top of the game happen? Hoyland is from Hersholm, which is an hour's drive north from Copenhagen in Denmark. It's a quiet and peaceful place, the schools are good, and the local amateur football club is Hersholm Usserod Idrets Club, also known as HUI. Manchester United's new striker joined HUI when he was four years old, and he was one of the better players among his peers, with his physique proving a particular asset as he grew and moved through the age groups. Ability-wise, though, he did not stand out. There were other players in that group just as good. Rasmus wasn't particularly fast or had extraordinary technical capabilities, says Christian Moreau, the club's sporting director. He was just someone that loved to play football. Rasmus is and always has been a hard worker. Every chance he could, he was to be found on the pitch outside of training hours. Emil and Oscar, Hoyland's younger twin siblings, began training at HUI a few years later. Together, the three became so football obsessed that their father, Anders, a carpenter by trade, renovated the basement of their house, transforming it into an indoor pitch. When Hoyland was 12, HUI's partnership with Copenhagen-based top-flight side Bronba meant joining their academy was a natural step. HUI have since struck up a similar arrangement with FC Copenhagen, where Hoyland moved after a few years. It was at Copenhagen that Hoyland's potential began to be realised. He made his professional debut at 17 and that season produced 16 goals in 23 appearances. But of his 32 senior games for Copenhagen, just three were starts. From his debut against Aarhus in October 2020 to his final match 14 months later, he was usually a substitute. In his 791 minutes for Copenhagen, there was not one full 90 played. It is an indication of what has been interpreted in some quarters as a lack of belief in Hoyland among Copenhagen's senior staff. His technical ability was questioned and his physical attributes overlooked. As a result, it was not especially surprising when he left in January 2022 for Austria's Sturm Graz and for a fee of only 2 million euros albeit with a sell-on fee included. It wasn't a decision that aged well, and because Hoyland, as a fan, grew up sleeping under an FC Copenhagen duvet, it was a major disappointment. But he would make his point quickly. He made a blistering start for Sturm Graz, scoring four goals in his first three games and making an immediate impression in Austria's second city. He left a mark on opponents too. He will be worth every penny, said Tyrol defender Raphael Buonek after facing Hoyland. He's an absolute machine. Compared to what Manchester United have paid, the amount Sturm spent may seem insignificant, but Hoyland was their most expensive signing for the best part of 20 years. He is also the most successful example of a recruitment strategy focused on signing underappreciated young talent and turning those players around for a profit. Once he arrived in Graz, Hoyland's drive, work ethic and self-belief shone through. He's not a quiet guy, he already arrived with a very good self-esteem, but in a positive way, Andreas Schicker, the club's sporting director, told The Athletic. Amazingly, Hoyland would only stay for seven months. He was too impressive too soon, and when Atalanta offered 17 million euros for the player, over eight times what Graz paid for him, it was just too good a deal to turn down. Sturm would also earn 3 million euros from his move to Manchester United through a sell-on clause. He has a great future at the highest European level ahead of him, Schicker says. His mindset, his personality and his skills, with all his speed, power, depth, force and quality before the goal, makes him a total package. When he joined Atalanta in August 2022, he became the sixth most expensive signing in the club's history. Even so, he quickly impressed veteran head coach Giampiero Gasparini, even though Atalanta's 65-year-old head coach is not prone to lavishly praising players. But Hoyland's first few goals in Serie A characterised all his abilities. A poacher's tap-in against Monza, a delicate chip against Bologna, a breakaway against Salernitana, and most memorably, a thunderous strike against Spezia that cannoned in off the bar. He's extraordinary, Gasparini said. You could see straight away that he was very gifted. Hoyland was also showing significant improvements in individual areas. He may not have been especially well known for his speed in his early days, but over time, it developed into a devastating weapon. Technically, he's always showing us different things, Gasparini said at the time, stressing how much of a self-starter Hoyland was. Rasmus gives his all in training all week. There are times when I have to hold him back. But there were complications. Atalanta were always aware that goals would bring attention and interest from other clubs. After setting speculation raging with the hat-trick against Finland in March's Euro 2024 qualifiers and two more goals against Kazakhstan four days later, Gasparini felt Hoyland lost his way. 
The rumours turned his head and the compliments dazzled him a bit, he said. He's going to have to learn how to handle them and fast. He's young and can't think he has nothing else to learn. Even that slight rebuke came with a tribute to Hoyland's potential. The ladder he's on is infinite, Gasparini added, shortly before Atalanta became the second club in a year to make an enormous profit on a forward who has emerged at a startling rate. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.